Now, usually, as you know, I like the guests to make a grand entrance, but we have been drinking since yes. noon, so mm-hmm. I figured we should just sit still and get the show going. Since Cheers. Since yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Not all, together, but separately. But Separately, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Um, well, thank you, first of all, for coming here. Thank I you. Really Thanks for having appreciate me. appreciate it. I just cut you off. Sorry. <laughs> it's going to happen a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, I do want to say your book, though, because it is a... Wait, did you say my name? I don't think I did. This is what? already my favorite interview ever. <laughs> it is. I don't think I did, did I? Help people I also know don't my, know it. My, my name. <laughs> you might have said I my name. I heard it somewhere. I, I think I said Sarah Colonna, didn't I? Did you? Well, if not, please welcome Sarah <laughs> Colonna. It just helps for people because... <laughs> I'm not that recognizable. <laughs> Who do you get mistaken for? Anyone? When I was younger, I used to get uh, Jennifer Grey when she was on Baby, when, not Baby, <laughs> Dancing with, not Dancing with, Dirty Dancing. You know what I'm talking about, Jesus Christ. Um, <laughs> oh, <laughs> I used to get Jennifer Grey for like a little bit, but that's anyway. No, I don't get mistaken for anybody else. Who do you think I look like? Um, Charlize Theron in Monster. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, actually, you have a similar haircut to her right now. Doesn't she kind of have the that? lifetime mom haircut? Yeah, that's exactly what I. Oh my god, that's what it is. A lifetime mom haircut. So, in addition to being a best-selling author and an actress and a stand-up comedian, you're mostly known for Chelsea lately. I mean, was getting that just life-changing? Absolutely. I mean, I think that most comics who do the roundtable and stuff would say it's life. A lot of them, anyway. Mm-hmm. Of, of, maybe for a handful, not so much. But a lot of them would say it was life-changing in the sense that it made you a headliner. It made you know your name out there more. You got to plug your dates. People are watching it. You're on it regularly. So people get familiar with you and your own sense of humor, which I thought you know Chelsea was really awesome and gracious to do that to have three other comics on her table all the time even though that she was a comedian you know it was really like she didn't care she no competition she's just like um but the writing part for me was well, so life-changing because i got to quit my bartending yeah. job you, you know, weren't like, just a comedian on the round table yeah you were a writer on the show yeah for five five years That's yeah huge. yeah i quit writing at chelsea um before the show ended before the show yeah, ended about a year that. before I yeah i know that so, and that was, um, was scary, but I think at the same time it was a pretty, pretty good for me because it made me like go do stand up more on the road. And, you know, I just sort of was like, this is, this seems as far as I can go here, um, with the writing. And I figured it was going to end in the next year or two as it was. So I wanted to know that I could survive on my own. So, so far I have, I mean, I saw that you have a downstairs, so I'm probably going to move in there. But other than that, it's fine. Done. Done yeah. deal. I'm going to need help. Clearly. Yeah. Clearly. Yeah, definitely. Got to keep these pillows coming. Yeah. Get some requests for them on Twitter. Get this one clean while you're at it. I... <laughs> Just for, I mean, I'm oh fine, but for the other guests. For, yeah, for the A listers that are coming on. Yeah. And Sandra Bullock next week. <laughs> um, but you and Chelsea actually met in improv. That's a true story. Yeah. So. Chelsea and I met in improv class, and then we both started doing stand up around the same time. Yeah. And that was cool because she was figuring it out. Like I did. I mean, she has a lot more money than I do now, so. Well, you know, she has a lot more money than better. a lot of us. Yeah. But I'm just going to figure out better, different. Yes. That's all it is. Thank you. No, no, but positive spin on that. Well, I mean, Come on, you, know. you and your dirty pillow figuring things out. <laughs> Literally going to be the name of my book that I'm never going to write. <laughs> the dirty Me pillow. and my dirty pillow. It should have been the di- fi- Figuring things <laughs> out. <laughs> the dirty pillow sounds like a lifetime movie that I would watch the shit out of, by the way. The Dirty Pillow. T- tonight on The Dirty Pillow. Oh, I would love that. Oh, my God. Mm. Speaking of what I love, you did co- you did stand-up comedy at Starbucks at the Be- across from the Beverly Center. Yeah. That kills me. With and Chelsea. It, you guys kind of bombed-ish. Not just, no, not just kind of. Bo- completely bombed. But she didn't bomb because she didn't go. Uh, she There was this woman named, oh, uh, what was her name? Her name was Tara something, but I can't think of her last name. I wish I could, so because I would like... For her to explain herself, but she said that she had a show at Starbucks across from the Beverly Center, a stand-up show, and she's like, just go eight o'clock, whatever. And Chelsea was like, we're going, we're doing. She has great shows, so we go to Starbucks. Nobody's there, and then the employee behind the counter was kind of like, basically, they said, yeah, someone came by and there's a microphone or something, and that we had to plug into the wall on our own. And then there's two people in Starbucks, and neither of them were there for stand-up; they were there for fucking coffee, and so. I was like, I don't think we should do this. And Chelsea was like, we should, but you go first. So I did stand up for about five to 10 minutes. The two people that were there left. 
And then uh, I looked at Chelsea and she was like, well, that's a wrap on this night. And we left. Like, she, she didn't, didn't even get no. up. No, she was like, and the next day I think she t- wrote, well, this is before texting. So left me a message and said, I think I got a book of Jamba Juice, like, you know, next, like kind of trying to make light of it. And I was like, that was the worst. But it's a funny story now. So it's, it's good. So oh, it was terrible. Yeah, it was ridiculous. Do you um, find it frustrating at all? Because you're like me, a little sarcastic, a little dry. Um, when you're trying to be funny online and people take what you say literally. That's funny you say that because this is, I mean, it's very off topic and I'm not trying to. There's no topic. Let, okay, this good. I'm YouTube not trying and to it's like, my couch. No, there's no topic, clearly. I'm not trying to brag that I have a boyfriend or anything, but I do because it's also just, I feel like I don't want you to hit on me. So, uh, <laughs> he, uh, he actually, say he plays football. He said he plays for the Seahawks and, uh, so not what? to just throw everything at you at once. Are you yeah. serious? Yeah, he's the punter for the Seahawks. His name's John Ryan. So he... Do you get to go to all the... Well, obviously. Well, no, not really because they're not here. No, we're not. His girlfriend will see. He... I went to... His other girlfriend. His I mean, wife. it is the NFL. I know. I feel like I found the one nice guy and like it might be on my mind. It might be wrong. But no, he's he's very... He's a, he's a really good guy. I mean, he's a redhead. I mean, they're very harmless. I haven't gone to a bunch of games, but we... Have, have you met him? Um, I mean, on tw- uh, Twitter... No. <laughs> He, I mean, I think he's going to call me. I feel like we're dating. Anyway, he was on, they were flying home from Washington last week. They played the Redskins. It was the football team. And he, he was on the plane and he, he I guess they, they like charter, the team charters a Delta plane. So they don't have a private, whatever. I mean, obviously it's a nice, they charter the whole plane themselves. It's not a bad situation. Yeah. But he tweeted a picture of the menu next to a menu. For, I'm getting somewhere with this story, I swear. <laughs> Next to a menu uh, that the Baltimore Orioles had apparently had the same plane Another the day team. before. That's a baseball team. Okay, so baseball. It's a different. Thank you. So their uh, menu was also left over on the plane. So it, it said at the top, Baltimore, Baltimore Orioles, whatever. And then there it says Seahawks menu. So he tweeted them side by side. And he said, well, 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 Delta. I see their menu is so much. The menu for the Baltimore Orioles is so much better. Because they have like sushi and shrimp. And the Seahawks had hamburgers or something. And clearly it was a joke. CBS Sports picks it up. John Ryan unhappy with the Delta menu. And people are like, well, fuck that entitled guy. And there are people starving. And he's like, are you serious? Uh, Like, you're making a joke. Like, you can't. You can't worry about what other people think, especially on the internet. For the most (sighs) part, I feel like you would probably for the most part. I mean, I'm pretty lucky I don't get too many people just saying mean things like to me on Twitter and stuff. And I feel like you're, you're, I mean, you seem likable. It could be wrong. (laughs) Not at all. Yeah, you know, no. <laughs> horrible. Yeah, you seem nice and like so you probably don't get the front, but I feel like a lot of I'm teams... very sarcastic and that doesn't translate very well in print sometimes. Oh. I'm very sarcastic. But I also like you know, it's like when you grow up in the Midwest and you're in the drama department, you don't play football, you've heard everything. Yes. Like I don't want to use that word. Where did you grow up? Ohio and Indiana. Okay. And it's just like I've been called everything under the sun. And right. it's like once you endure that as a kid it's like oh a twitter comment Tr- like yeah get back to me when twitter can push me into a locker right you know what i mean like, <laughs> I like that's coming yeah <laughs> but it is it's actually just it's the people that would push into lockers if they could leave the house i've noticed that they just want a reaction i actually had one woman write me an email out at like i guess you went through my website or whatever i have a website i don't mean to brag no but, I, yeah. <laughs> I mean i do and uh it's called facebook and, and it's has, her name yeah <laughs> And it can get emails. So, um, and they come right to my phone. It's, I mean, it's pretty amazing. Wow, you've really made it. I that, know. Congratulations. Like, sometimes it's like, oh, you know, oh. pinch me. I'm good. <laughs> so, so, I get this email from this woman and she, it just said, you're lucky um, you're friends with Chelsea Handler uh, so that you have a job or something like that. And I was like, I don't, I mean, I didn't get hired because because I'm friends with anyone. I just wrote back, uh, Happy New Year. That's my response to everything. Happy New Year. I'm just going to start doing that. <laughs> Happy Columbus Day. Yeah, I mean, you should. And then she wrote back, you wrote a whole book about all the mistakes you've made. I know you're trash or something or and a terrible person. And I was like, okay, I can be called a lot of things, but those two, I'm not, you know, a, a terrible person. I might be trashy sometimes, but I'm not a terrible person. Yeah. So, and I was like, oh, well, you obviously, I didn't even get into it, but I was like, we didn't read my book. I mean, first of all, the title is Life As I Blow It. 
which is obviously kind of a play on words, but it's about blowing opportunities. But, you know, like, yes, of course, it's about making mistakes. That's the whole fucking point. Yeah. But the point is you learn from them. And, you know, so I got sort of, I was about to, I wrote like a whole email about like schooling her. And then I was like, this is insane. This is a crazy woman. So then I don't respond at all. And then I went on my podcast and I was telling the story to um, my co-host, to Josh Wolf. And I was telling him the story. And the next day I get an email from the woman again. And she's like, um, you didn't quite include all the details in this. And I was like, oh my God, by the way, thanks for listening to the podcast. Like, why do you fucking listen to me if you hate me so much? Like, why are you? It's like literally someone who's like listening to everything I do just so she can tell me she hates me. It's the weirdest thing. Well, this is a perfect segue because I don't want to surprise you, but she's here today. And what's <laughs> going to happen is please welcome Marla. Did you just die? Oh, Marla would probably be, is probably her name. I, uh, can't, I wish I could remember it. Sounds awful. What if she transferred all of it to me now? Oh. Like she was just like every video I ever did. I mean, I feel like she's like... probably going to watch this. I feel like this is her, her thing. So yeah. the one viewer that we have, the it, one dislike on your YouTube. The one thumbs down. Yeah, it's going to exactly. be. Of course, Sarah's on a show where it's framed Shelly Long pictures behind her. <laughs> I love your fat framed Shelly Long Do you picture. have a story about her at all? Have you ever met her? Have you ever seen her? Do you like a movie? Do you... I mean, I love, I loved Cheers. Okay. I love uh, Overboard. No, that's Goldie Hawn. Uh, go. No, what, no what's done. the movie though? What's Leave the... my mic and go. <laughs> I did just confuse her and Shelly Long. It's yeah, so you racist. Did. It's okay. um, racist. <laughs> There is what, wait, what's the movie with the, the Money you. Pit? Oh, good, okay. Uh, with Tom Hanks. Yes. It's a good movie, right? Yes, really good movie. She's so, very funny. She's very funny. Yeah, she's and you funny. are obsessed with her. Okay, easy. Um, no, I just love her. I think she's fantastic. She's made amazing films. You know what she was really good in was the Brady Bunch movie. Really she good, right? She was excellent ca uh, Carol. Perfect yeah. Carol Brady. Yeah. She was perfect excellent. as Carol Brady. And that was considered kind of like a comeback. You don't want to get me started on it. I'll go for it. And forever. then what happened after that? What did she make after that? Um, a very Brady sequel. <laughs> the very Brady sequel was not as funny as the first it one. It wasn't. Let's move on. We got to go into soaps because you are a huge soap fan and so am I. You're General Hospital on Days of Our Lives. I know. Uh, I, know. I was on an episode of Days of Our Lives. Shut up. Yeah. When? Was, How do I not know it this? It was like 10 years ago. It was a long time ago. And I played, well, actually it was on two episodes. One time I was like a nurse. I didn't really have a line. I just kind of like walked around. <laughs> And then I think I, said, I think I had like a line. and Did then they like, know you were there? Yeah, I'm not sure. I think I just was invited. Like, maybe I just showed up. But An audition gone wrong, <laughs> so you walked down the hall. I just walked down the hall and they're like, I'll just keep rolling. But that's actually what I learned to kind of do. Because when I was in college, my roommates loved Days of Our Lives. I thought I was more of General Hospital. I felt it was more realistic. Okay, I feel like Days of Our Lives with the girl with the twin Why, Marlena. Why Marlena possessed and yeah. she floated above the bed? That's I mean, realistic. Yeah, whereas all they have on General Hospital is they have a mob and a mobster of the heart, and I feel like that's true. Okay. You know. Yeah. So I did get to talk to John Black. He was very serious, and I was like, "This is." Yeah, I was like, yeah, he acts like this. and they like told me that you have to like because I thought it was weird that we were all lined up like right next to each other because I was like I thought you kind of blocked for camera and like cheat and they were like no it's like he's like it was like subway acting he called it and he said you just line up he's like just don't worry about it and then he said all these ridiculous lines and then right when the cameras cut he started laughing and I was like oh they get it they made wow. like they get it like they, they know it's ridiculous yeah they totally have a sense of humor I am kind of friends with. Uh, Alexis Davis from General Hospital. She's a, a big, high-powered attorney. She's run over a couple of people with her car. Anyway, there's a lot <laughs> happening on that. Show. But she is, uh, she she like doesn't take herself very seriously. The real, her name's Nancy in real life, but I don't call her that. Nancy what? Grand. Uh, Nancy Lee Grand. Yeah. Your friend. Oh, with she her? used to be on um, Santa Barbara. Santa Barbara. That yes. was two yes. shows after Days of Our Lives. Yes. Like good friends with her. I mean, I wouldn't say good friends. Like. Go on the Justin Root show. We've, oh, she would totally come on here yeah. and have fun. Yeah. I love she's I mean, a, sorry, and, Nancy. <laughs> but I just did something with her. She's First of all, she's a riot. I had lunch with her. She's one of my favorite people on Twitter. She's amazing. I don't watch her she's show. She's hilarious on Twitter. I don't listen to that. I don't watch her show. I don't. I'm not. I, no, it's okay. Cause she I love her from Twitter. Hospital. She is really great on Twitter. I think she might like that if she heard that someone she liked love, her from Twitter and not just She General would love hospital. that because she's, I actually just did something with them on the General Hospital Ugh. set. I got to go on the General Hospital set, basically greatest day of my life. And um, <laughs> even though most of the sets were torn down because they were on a break. But I, we did like this thing that she has coming out called General Hospital Now, like an online web thing oh, uh, talking about General Hospital and like doing silly things. And then I was like, afterwards, I was like, no pressure, but I just want to be on the show. Like, I just want to, yeah. I don't want a bit, I just want a line. Yeah. I just want a cup of, like, coffee at Kelly's Diner. 
Anyway. Is it going to happen? I don't know. <laughs> Is it Nancy? <laughs> Please welcome Nancy. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing if she was here. But let's talk about your book, which I love. Um, There's like an... You just hold that up. <laughs> <laughs> there is a uh, uh, <laughs> just kidding. there is an underlying sort of um, I can put it down now it's weird no. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite seriously my favorite thing about your book is that um, <laughs> it, no but there's like an underlying heart to it I mean I love Chelsea's books but they're kind of comedy 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 which is great but this has like a realness to it Thank you. That's, was, that's like, what I went for, and I appreciate that because I Chelsea's books are amazing, and she obviously. Um, but I was I was frustrated when people would automatically, when it came out, automatically go like, "Oh, it's like a Chelsea Handler book." Listen, that's a huge flattery. She's obviously an a, an amazing author and has huge success with it. But at the same time, I wanted people to know like, "Oh, but it's different." The heart thing is what I was going for, so I would be like. I just hope people get that and my my book agent and my publisher were like, don't worry, people understand when they read it. But in the meantime, if they're comparing it to a really successful author, that's okay. And I was like, are you sure? I'm like, yes. And then I calmed down about it. And I just finished another one and it's called, Has Anyone Seen My Pants? Uh, I know I say it's like serious and then I give you the most ridiculous title. I keep doing that. I keep telling people like, it's kind of good serious. And then like, what's the title? Has anyone seen my pants? I'm like, okay. Well. So it's obviously not that serious. All right, uh, so okay. I end my show with either or. Very simple. Simpsons or Family Guy? Family Guy. Fish or steak? Steak. Thelma or Louise? Louise. Gina Davis or Susan Sarandon? Sarandon. Vodka. I just call her by her last name now. Sorry. Vodka or whiskey? Vodka. Pool boy or ski instructor? Ski instructor, actually. Yeah, it's like point. Right. Sia or CIA? CIA? I mean both, but I really like 24. My hair or your hair? Mine. <laughs> Rose <laughs> Roseanne or Seinfeld, the show? Seinfeld. Top or Fireman? Mm, fireman. This little YouTube show or get a real job? Oh, my dad got a hold of it. <laughs> Sorry. Wow. Um, someone walking in on you naked or someone seeing your most played songs on iTunes? Someone walking in on me naked. <laughs> 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 it's pretty bad. Yeah. My iTunes is bad. Same. King or queen? Take it however you queen. want. Queen. Thank you. Stomach ache or headache? Stomach ache. Netflix or Hulu? Netflix. Drunk Chelsea or sober Chelsea? Both. Times New Roman or Comic Sans? Comic Sans. Did her sing? I don't know. I don't know what it is either, but I know that that's what I use. Clean shaven or scruffy? Scruffy. Dine in or carry out? Dine in. Meryl Streep dramas, Meryl Streep comedies. Meryl Streep dramas. Front row baseball game or press box baseball game? Front row baseball game. New Kids on the Block or Marky Mark? New Kids on the Block. And KOTV. That's how it's written, actually. Yeah. Okay, okay good. Did you imagine I wrote it out? Uh, <laughs> the Burning Bed or The Betty Broderick Story? Ooh, The Burning Bed. Eating disorder movies or husband cheating movies? I mean, I know I'm supposed to just off the cuff, but that's a tough one. Cause don't you remember when <laughs> Meredith Baxter Bernie, she had the eating disorder in that Lifetime movie, and she would like go through drive-throughs and then put everything in her back seat, and then oh, oh, but then husband she okay, uh, eating disorder. I love that this is your hardest one. <laughs> <laughs> and just because I'm picking the alt, see that's just because I'm picking the alt, just like I love Roseanne, but I just picked Seinfeld. For, I don't know why, don't, actually, but I love Let's sleep both. over this. Okay. Calm down. Okay. Calm down. Okay. Neither of them are watching, okay. I promise. Okay, eating disorder. That's a Roseanne tweeting us. <laughs> Three in the morning, just Fuck angry. Fuck you. Oh, yeah. Julia Roberts or Sandra Bullock? Sandra Bullock. Bikini or One Piece? Bikini. One Piece is a bikini. He looks so weird. <laughs> Brazilian or landing strip? Mm, landing strip. I had a Brazilian accident one time. It was the worst day of my life. Heather McDonald or McDonald's? Heather McDonald. All right. Easy, right? I love McDonald's though. <laughs> yeah. That was painful. Yeah. Right? <laughs> it's tough to say because I really love a Big Mac, but yeah. Would you ever come back? Was this painful? I mean, would you? Uh, it was painful, but I'd come back. <laughs> 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 of course I'd come back. No, it was super fun. Right. It really was. Well, thank you so much. And my favorite part of any talk show is when they pretend that, or not they pretend, but when the music starts and they, but their guests are still, still talking, talking and you're like, whatever. So I just... Uh, that's where I'll end it. But we're not really done. Oh. Aren't you excited? Oh, no. <laughs>